Welcome again to another Leica TS16 Total Station tutorial and in today's video we're going to do resection and we're going to actually find out how we can set up our instrument and I'm going to show you a few ways of doing that so let's go. I'm in a sight edge control job now and I'm going to jump to setup here and uh, there's a few ways of setting up our instrument and I'm going to start from the very top here so you got a set orientation setup point is no aim at the known target enter the orientation we're not going to be doing this though we can actually use the second thing here which is known backside so as you can see on this picture actually this is showing great what's happening here we know the station we got the coordinates for our station and then we're going to be shooting one target to set the orientation and in this case what I'm going to be doing we're going to be setting the height as well by using that target as obviously once we got a station like this so it might be peeing on the ground so wherever before we done our section we can actually jump here press the bubble here I'm going to be laser down our EDM and we can mark it that's going to be our point we can set the nail there and that might be our station so that's one of the ways of setting up the station obviously we can shoot some point there as well but that's the few ways of doing that and then we're going to be shooting a target and obviously as I said we're going to be taking the height of that target so we're going to have that station with no heights but I'm going to jump here okay and uh, I'm going to try to show you how it's going to be looking although this is a simulator here so set up point from a job uh, okay job site and control point s 11 instrument height zero so that's okay that's how we're going to keep it I'm going to press okay now and then backside id so I need to choose the point here we got backside point setup camera and 3d viewer and obviously we're going to be using 3d viewer so setup point from job uh, i got job site and control point id uh, s11 but i see i got some height here so maybe what i'm going to do now i just actually create a new point here with only coordinates so i'm going to press uh, store here so that's going to be my post ts001 and i'm going to put it as my station here as a main point so i'm going to press ok now and a position only point has been selected to be used height of zero will be used for this setup yes that's what i want to do so i'm going to press yes now and that's going to be my back side now so that's going to be the target we're going to be aiming it probably going to be retro target that's enough for us we typically use this on sites i just press now set and we'll see what i'm going to have so the station orientation of the station have been set do you wish to capture panoramic image i don't need it to be honest i press no here and uh, my station is set now using that backside. So that's the one way of setting up our instrument. We're setting it over a point and then we shoot in one target to set orientation. Uh, and I'm gonna go back to setup to uh, show you more here. So we got multiple backsides. So that would be very similar situation. We're setting up our instrument over a point, a known station. Uh, we type in the coordinates, oh, we got that station in our instrument. And then we're shooting in this case, more than one backside. So two backsides, obviously all this setup gonna be more accurate as we're using more points and another one here on the list it's a transfer height and that we can only set our height so maybe i'm going to jump here press ok but if you can see here setup point is no but new setup heights need to be computed so that means that we can set up our instrument wherever we need really we don't care about the coordinates in this case we just need the height only but in this case i myself using different type i'm not using this one i'm just changing the height for the instrument as i on the job i try to keep as much datums as possible obviously all accurate and then i can set up my instrument wherever i like i just shoot the datum and taking the height of it as i know the difference between the total station and the datum and i just type it in in the instrument obviously you need to be very careful with this but uh, that's how i work so that's what i got now here a uh, setup point like before from the job job site and control maybe i'm going to pick up some other point like rt1 let's say okay uh, and the instrument height is zero obviously as i'm going to be taking the height now from that target and i'm going to press okay now so i'm here now to measure the target uh, so in this case i'm going to measure ts001 uh, let's do that i'm going to measure this instrument turn automatically so i got my one point so that's enough for me i'm going to calculate it and we'll see what i got so i got as you can see new height old height difference in height high quality perfect so that's what we got here we can check the results obviously we got a setup so that's going to be our setup here we use the rt1 for it and uh, 3d viewer as well as i said we're going to be using this so that's actually showing nice our setup here but uh, as i said i'm mostly working with the datums and i'm mostly calculating it myself or we can actually see this on the instrument as you got a difference in the height so you know exactly what level your total station is once you shoot in the datum and once obviously you know the datum so i'm going to come back now to the setup methods and uh, they're going to be our lovely resection now so i'm going to jump to resection and let's be honest in 95 percent of cases you're going to be using resections i'm talking here about the frames groundworks actually on most of the jobs it's good to do 
resection. So before I'm gonna press okay, you can see that picture here. This is actually very good showing us, but I would actually use the better angles to be honest if I could. So I'm gonna press okay now and the point ID, that's gonna be our station. So point ID here, that's the setup details. So I can just can put it as ST1 for station one, instrument height is zero, a point code. We're not gonna be using codes now. Choose a target from a different job. So that's another one. We can choose a target from different job. I was now, I think, in the same job, site engine control anyway, but you can actually take the control targets from different jobs. So that's useful as well. If you wanna keep your control data, just separate and just use the points of it, not to put too much information in that job and make a mess really, especially if you're a 3D viewer, you're gonna make too many points and it's not gonna be clear, it's not gonna be readable as nice as it should be. So I got a point ID now, so target height, that's okay. I'm gonna measure it as we're gonna be measuring the first point. And uh, as you can see, the point has been stored. I got another one here, so I'm just gonna press measure. And uh, always remember, we're gonna be measuring three points. We wanna make sure our resection is orientated well and the error the total station gonna show us gonna be actually quite accurate. If you're gonna use only two stations, that's not the best resection and uh, we might actually mix the orientation as well. So never play with this, try always to shoot three targets. At that third one, gonna confirm your resection and gonna give you the real error. So I'm gonna press measure for that third one and what we're going to do after measuring the third target we're going to press a calculate here unless you obviously want to measure a fourth one but the setup coordinates could not be calculated due to inconsistent data so this is a simulator here i i won't show you how the resection is going to be looking but i'm going to show you what information we're going to have once resection is done so we got the results here for our station we got easting northing and the height and that's going to be our new setup, new station. And I got a setup here, point ID information about our setup. And the most important thing we are looking for that's gonna be first thing after we're doing resection, we just press the quality here. And here TS16 gonna show us what quality we got, what error we got actually on easting, on northing and on height. And obviously we're aiming at zero. So I would say within two millimeters to three millimeters maximum, we are still all right. Once we are above three millimeters, I would be looking for some better resection or keep checking the targets again. So I got targets here. Another good option is uh, unlike with the previous total stations, you can actually remove a target from here and you can add another target. So you're gonna see if the distance difference or maybe the easting difference uh, on one target are too much off. You can remove it here and you can use a different target and then you can obviously double check that other one. Maybe it's off or maybe you just didn't shoot precisely. And then the camera and 3D viewer. So that's what we're gonna be using as well. 3D viewers, that's the station we use for this setup. So I just maybe show you this. Once we got a setup here, point ID, we can actually click here and use a 3D viewer here. And then we can pick up our station we wanna use. So let's press this one, okay and then measure. And then again, if you wanna use the 3D viewer map, uh, as I actually myself typically use, we can choose from here, press okay, and then measure again. And then obviously we can calculate the resection and we can see what error we have. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go back to the main menu and there's a one more option uh, to set up our instrument and it's quite useful, it's actually two, but the one is orientate to line. And uh, as I'm gonna press here, we're gonna see what it all means. You're gonna be shooting two points and that's gonna be orientating your instrument to the new line. I would actually compare it to the reference line. When you're creating a reference line by shooting two points, this is a very similar, but when you're using reference line, obviously you got the length of the line and the offset and that's how you're working. So this is a bit different as you can orientate your station and you're gonna have a point here, zero, zero, and then you're gonna have a north and easting. So they're gonna be on new north, a new easting and this is gonna be very very useful when we're gonna land on the job where there is no control points we cannot set our instrument maybe there is some old building and we have to refer to it that's when we're gonna use it we're gonna set that line and to that line we're gonna set everything else and then later obviously we can export the data we can bring whatever surveys we got in relation to that line in relation to the existing building and then obviously we can get some setup later we can all coordinate it again so that will be very useful and as you can see here measure 20 points this defines the line to which total station will be positioned and orientated i'm going to press ok here as this we're going to see line between target one and two defines north axis and that's the way actually i would be doing this i would like this axis to be the north one so my point one, point two. And as you know how the reference line works, you're gonna understand easily how this is gonna work. Obviously this is create just a Cartesian plane with the north and east. So might be very useful, especially as I said, if you're gonna land on the job without any 
control points without any position. So same as before, I can put some number here and uh, I'm gonna press OK. In this case, obviously we're gonna be measuring to some points, but I'm gonna press measure, point one has been, I'm gonna go measure again, but I get a bad quality of targets and this is simulator. But in real life, obviously, the line gonna be created and gonna have a north axis, east axis, and then you can work to it. And you can actually, on that job, you can mark two points, and then later, as you're gonna get the coordination maybe of hold the job, you can relate it back to these two points, and then everything is all right. So uh, that would be all, guys. I think there's a one more here that's gonna be actually orientating to the object. So that could be useful as well, uh, especially if you're working with some, I don't know, maybe some kind of roof or something, and we can just precisely measure everything. It's gonna create us that plane, but obviously at a certain angle, and then we can relate to this, and we can set up really everything we want relating to that object. And I myself actually never used this one before. But as I said, uh, depending on what we do in, sometimes it's really good to know that this total station has options like this. As we engineers, we need to think about it. We're gonna land on different jobs and we need to sort the problems, find the solution. So that might be one of the solutions we're gonna be looking for, we never know. But it's good to know without knowing, so that will be actually all I wanted to show you in this video. You know now there is a few ways of doing the setup of our station. Not always we're just going to be doing the resection, but in most cases, that's how we're going to be setting up our instrument. But you can also use the transfer height, orientate to the line or even set up over the point and orientate our station. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as there are gonna be more and more about total station, about construction site, and everything you need to know about site and setting out engineering. So if you are willing to learn, that's the right place for you. And I invite you to subscribe to the channel to join that great community of us engineers here.